Hello everyone, it's I, Crock199, and today uh, I want to just basically uh, make to disclose that um, this is a spider based video. If you have arachnophobia, please click away to another video at your um, own discretion. But if you're not, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Now, today's episode is all about the very deadly funnel web spider. Welcome you back, Tretel Planet. the funnel web spider now this species of spider is among one of the deadliest spiders in having native range in Australia mainly um, on the parts of Tasmania South, South Australia as well as North Queensland now their primary habitat like many spider species that don't necessarily make their kind of webbing in the trees so funnel webs actually make their home underground basically in running logs basically underneath rocks and as well as in borer, um, borer holes, basically spin their webs, that way they'll be able to um, basically defend the potential predators and basically trap potential prey, and also be set up for an ambush. Now, funnel web spiders, they're not quite that big, so basically, um, without counting the legs, they can go up to around a um, one-fifth or about one-fourth of an inch, but including the legs, they could be up to around five to 10, ten centimeters in total. Now the general coloration is kind of varied, it can go from brown to black to bluish black all the way to like a black or like a dark plum coloration. Now even though this is a very small spider, their diet, they can not take on a variety of prey. So basically like many spider species, they are ambush hunters, basically hiding down in their, basically in their um, holes near their webbing, basically waiting for a type of ambush to basically jump out, jump out and basically grab onto their prey. So, they are naturally ambush hunters. They'll eat a variety of prey, such as vertebrates, amphibians, and insects, as the millipedes, cockroaches, um, basically um, frogs. So basically, they have to do with a varied diet. The, so now during the breeding season, it will basically take place around the summer to around the fall seasons, and basically female. Well, males will basically leave their leave their dens or to search for a female. And after that process, basically complete, the females will make a kind of like a pillow, uh, pillow sh shape um, webbing. Basically, contain up to around to 100 to 200 eggs, and basically they'll keep them in their burrows for protection against the threats. Now, you know, small spider, not really intimidating. Don't really seem like much. Maybe like a very kind of like one doesn't sound like that big of a deal. But trust me, this spider does pack a significantly and a deadly punch. So this is one of Australia's most deadliest spider species. So its size may not, you know, mean much. You know, like a small spider, you basically just like stomp on it, or like it might just won't be that much of a problem. But I just want to say this: there's more to this spider than meets the eye. This is one of the deadliest species of spiders, spiders in Australia. Basically, a lot of people have been bitten by this species of spider, and their venom can be deadly to humans. And basically, that's why medical attention needs to be sought out immediately after being bitten. Now, a lot of times, people see spiders in their backyards, inside their homes, inside their shoes. Um, it's, in urban areas, they can become a bit of a problem. They can turn obviously anywhere, in people's rooms, in their shoes. And once, like, and basically, people are unwary of this, and they want to take in a fight. If they don't know exactly where spiders want them hiding, so that winds up being a lot of cases where people get bit by these spiders for a lot of different scenarios. So their venom is basically a neurotoxin, which see and they have a delta hexatoxin, which is a type of neurotoxin that affects their victim's nervous system. So a bite from these from these spiders can be potentially dangerous. Actually, let me rephrase that. Not potentially dangerous, it can be dangerous if not deadly. Now, a bite for these spiders is nothing to joke, joke around with. It can cause a number of differences from unconsciousness, dilated pupils, all the way to basically dilated, pu dilated pupils, as well as muscle twitching, as well as um, a headache, vomiting, diarrhea, nausea, as well as... Um, Especially um, agitation, heavy sweating, cerebral edema, they call it cerebral edema, as well as um, di disorientation, unconsciousness, and they can lead to death. 
So death can't occur from a bite from these spiders, which is why medical attention needs to be sought out immediately if you want to be bitten by one of these spiders. There is no if, ands, or buts. You have to seek your medical attention immediately. Now, the way anti-venom is basically produced by these spiders, so there is plenty of research on these spiders. I'll show plenty of milk on their venom to save countless lives that have been basically uh, fallen victim to these spiders. But actually, there is a positive side to this. Now, their venom is being used to treat for serious spider bites. But actually, instead of, so you know how snake milking take, takes place, whereas they milk the venom from both genders of snakes, in this case, the uh, funnel of spider venom is milked mainly from the males can they, since they can reduce a higher concentration of anti-venom once it's being, once it's being distributed. So, funnel of spider venom is mainly milked from the males. So they're the ones that basically help produce a lot of um, anti-venom that goes into medical needs as well as research needs. So yeah, so basically, and given that the female funnel spiders are bigger than the males, but when it comes to making anti-venom, the males take the, take the um, crown for being basically helping for um, for victimized spider, spider bite victims and as well, hopefully in during research, and hopefully the venom can be used for a lot of other, other medical needs as well. So there's a lot of research being taken place here. But yeah, but for the safety of everyone who basically has encountered these spiders, is basically just um, be mindful where you're stepping, check all of your shoes, basically make them crannies, back here, kind of like backyard, check like the almost like places where they, you can likely find a spider hiding out. That way the accident will happen, like try to empty out your shoes every once in a while to make sure there's not a spider in there. You know, check like on um, corners, ceilings, on the walls, kind of like areas where a spider can easily hide in. So it's best to check those areas. That way, um, if you do see one, try to either remove it or, you know, like dispatch it and humanely, um, if you can. But more likely, I'd recommend try to like get it out of the vicinity and basically release it back into the wild safely. So, yeah. But in the meantime, be mindful of these spiders, whereas a bite can cause deadly consequences. And it's definitely an experience you want to be on the receiving end for. Alright, that is the Funnel Web Spider. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions for me, post them down in the comments below. Don't forget, subscribe for more content, and I will see you all next time. See ya. Thanks for watching. Don't subscribe for more content from more social media, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.